Hey guys, welcome to Ringside of Wrestling. Jamie and Callum here, and we are joined today by Izzy. Izzy Mania Hi. is running well. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm so excited to be here. Thank you so much. Oh, we are thrilled. I'm uh, so thankful for you uh, agreeing to come on. Um, I've always wanted to say it as well. Ringside is, is running wild now with Izzy Mania. So it's, uh... <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So in Orlando, you're telling us it's nice and hot there and sunny and yeah. So not like during the, like not right now because like it's kind of like that fall like going into winter I guess. So you know it's not terribly hot. There's some days where it's like a little bit hotter than others, but it's like it's really windy. Like but not like wow, this is freezing cold. Yeah, <laughs> not like the UK. Yeah, <laughs> it's cold. It's cold for Fl- for Floridians. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's it, it, honestly, we were saying to you before I recorded it, it's freezing over here at the minute. I was in my garden earlier and <laughs> I, was, I was shivering. I mean, I was like, it was that cold. I was like, what's, what's going on? But anyway, we don't, we don't need to talk about gardens, do we? We need to talk about wrestling. So, yeah, exactly, exactly. So, we'll start off, obviously. I mean, have you always been a wrestling fan? I mean, we saw you at NXT in the front row. Is that was that the first time, or was you a fan before then? Um, yeah, I was intro- introduced to wrestling when I was three, four years old. You know, my parents, they showed me Monday Night Raw, and I was like, what is that? You know, I really got into it, you know, as I grew older, like, my dreams of being a WWE superstar became more serious. So, you know, like, a lot of training and everything. But, you know, going to NXT, you know, I want to say, well, really, FCW was kind of, like, my first, like, wrestling shows. Um, but, like, NXT was, like, I guess, like, kind of, like, my first, like, association with WWE show, if that makes any sense. So, you went to the FCW shows? You thought you started yes. in there? Yeah, I, I used to love FCW. I, I yeah. thought it was so good. Uh, yeah, they're really cool. It was, it's a great promotion. You know, you saw a lot of, like, hidden gems like Roman, you saw Dean or John Moxley, um, Seth Rollins, you saw Tyler. the young Bray Wyatt. So, you know, you saw really everybody and, like, as, like, they kind of, like, moved up, like, it was kind of cool to see them grow and everything. It, they used to have a lot smaller crowds, didn't they? Like, it was a bit more intimate. Yeah, it was pretty small. You know, I remember playing with Roman's daughter, you know, like that was kind of like, that's kind of like the thing, like everybody was just like, kind of like, they were like, everybody's friends there. So yeah, it was very, it was a small little community, but the place, it, like, I don't know, there was like actual good wrestling there. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was going to say, I mean, was it, a, was it a big difference when you went to NXT from seeing FCW then? I mean, how much was it, how much did that change? Um... Let's see. I want to say, like, NXT, it wasn't rehearsed, but it was, like, more polished, I think, like, you could say. Like, you know, like, they had all the production. They they had the fancy cameras. You know, they really had everything in order. You know, FCW is kind of like a wild card. Like, you didn't know what was happening next. Like, they didn't really have the fancy cameras, you know. They, they had the little phone, like, somebody recording on their phone. So, like, it was stuff like that. But, you know, like, wrestling-wise, there wasn't a huge difference. Maybe their moves were a bit more polished, you know, because they had, you know, NXT has the performance center and everything, and FCW, like, they had a training center, but, like, you know, not so, like, fancy as the PC. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no, it's, it's, I mean, obviously, like you said, I mean, I've seen, like, interviews with wrestlers, and they said themselves with FCW, we didn't even know what was going on sometimes. So it's <laughs> the difference between that NXT, yeah, is just incredible. But I guess it had that almost like an underground feeling. I mean, when you used to, we used to, obviously, we watch it, and you'd see yourself in the front row, and then you'd see other fans. And did it become a kind of family feeling for you? Because you see like, a lot of the same people every week. Yeah, it was definitely like a little family reunion, you know, especially with NXT since it was monthly. So like you didn't, it's not like now where you get to see your friends every week. It was more monthly. And it was like I said, like a family reunion. And, you know, like everybody became close, you know, when we were getting tickets because the way they had the whole system up was like every show, like you had to get tickets, like, they, like, everybody would wait in line during the show for tickets for the next show. Um, so, you know, like, everybody was, like, they're helping. Like, everybody was willing to help everybody to get tickets. And, like, everybody wants to make sure that everybody, like, like wanted to. Like, they wanted, like, I don't know what I'm saying. But, like, all the fans wanted to share the love for yeah. NXT with everybody else. 
Yeah, I, I love that. Cause I, I always say there's nothing better than a wrestling fan being around other wrestling fans. You kind of we're kind of in the minority some in some ways, aren't we? That you know, it's that you know, oh, yeah. you're wrestling kind of a thing. So it's nice when you, you you bond with these people. We are like it over here in the UK. We have a lot of friends who we go to shows with. Um, obviously, I'm not as lucky as Callum. I haven't been to a WrestleMania or an NXT Takeover or anything like that. All right, three, yeah. He likes to show off as well as that he's been to three WrestleManias, just you know. And I'm, uh, I feel like Izzy might have been to more WrestleManias than me. So. Oh, I don't know. I my first one was 32, so yeah, you know, 32, 33, 34. Let's see, 35 was. Oh wait, I know I lost count because I keep on thinking 35 was this past year. So 32, 33, 34. So I've been to four. Yeah, I want to say yeah, yeah four. Yeah. Well, like, no, you bet, you bet three, four. actually, no, I haven't. I didn't go to 35. I only went to everything like before it. So like, I guess that doesn't count. So actually four. You did the weekend, like, though, just not WrestleMania. Yeah, you know, it was going to be super cold. It was like so expensive. And like the card wasn't like, I mean, sure, they had the women's main event. But I don't know. There wasn't like to any like anything. Yeah, I was like, yeah. wow. Wow. So between you, there's seven WrestleManias, and I've got a big fat zero. Wow. <laughs> One day, Jimmy. One day. <laughs> My God. But obviously, we, we've got to talk as well about Bailey because, you know, was Bailey, was you always a Bailey fan before? Obviously, was, was she in FCW as well? Correct me if I'm wrong. Or? Uh, yeah, but I really don't remember seeing her, to be honest. But I. You know, when I saw her in NXT, I really, like, connected with her. You know, I liked how she was so different from all the other females in NXT. So I really think that's what I drew, like, that's how I drew to her. Um, but also, she was just, like, fun and energetic, and she was colorful. So, like, I really liked that aspect, aspect about her. Yeah, she, she does come across you know, as like, a really nice person as well. Yeah. I mean, we spoke, we spoke to her fiancé, Aaron, a few weeks ago, who was oh. uh, a lovely Lovely guy. So nice. Um, oh, yeah, it was. I mean, he was sat on this mat on my Randy Savage chair, and uh, we, we were just marking out over the chair. I was like, Aaron, can you just go away and just put the chair in front of the screen? We're all right now. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, obviously, with Bailey, I mean, obviously, you have a personal relationship with Bailey. I mean, you two close still now? Um, kind of, sort of, you know, she's doing her thing on the main roster, you know, so, like, it's kind of hard, you know, but... You know, we we still find time. I feel like your paths are going to collide again one day because everybody seems to think one day there's going to be a match with Bailey and Izzy. Like, well, I don't know if you guys saw, but I just was on the bump recently on the WWE yeah. Network, and yeah. so Bailey called me out on there. So you know, it's kind of like written down already. It's an amazing story, ready to go. Like, yeah, it, definitely. It, imagine the promo package you could do, the video. Oh, package. Yeah. Showing all the history of you being a fan of Bailey, growing up to eventually wrestle Bailey at WrestleMania or something. That's a that's a story ready to go when you're older. Like, Definitely. I feel like it is. I feel like they already have it I, all planned out. I feel like, first of all, you'd have to take on Sasha Banks to get Ooh, your revenge on Sasha. Maybe. Maybe. I, yeah, possibly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, what was that like as well, obviously? I mean, you was kind of involved in that angle, weren't you? Obviously, with Sasha... Making you cry. I mean, what yeah. was that like to be involved? Well, it was definitely surprising in so many ways. But like to this day, I still don't know why I cried. You know, it's like I like I don't know. Like I'm like still like why did I cry? Um, maybe it's because I thought she was gonna break my bro my bow or my friendship with Bailey was gonna end. Um, but that moment was super cool because it contributed to that match in so many ways. You know, whenever I think of that match, for me, obviously, I always go to think of that moment. I don't know if it's the same for other people, but, you know, it was such a cool moment for wrestling fans to watch and experience, and especially having a fan being a part of such a monumental match it was truly incredible. Yeah, it, it was cool to watch as a fan as well, because I feel like you crying, even though you say, like, you don't know why you did, I feel like it added so much to that, that angle, that, that moment. And yeah. that Sasha made you cry added so much fuel to that feud. 
Yeah, and you really can't recreate it, like, to this day. Like, I don't know, like, how they would, you know, they can't, I'm pretty sure they can't find a kid and just not tell them that, hey, there's going to be somebody stealing your bow. So, you know, it, it, it was just, it was so surprising to me. You know, I wasn't expecting it. It was, it's such a cool moment to this day, like I said. And not a bad match as well, my, you know, as well. Yeah. What, what, no, what, what it was an ex, oh, it was such a good match. You know, lots, lots of storytelling, you know, lots of registering of, like, who they really are, you know. So I thought it was just excellent from top to bottom. So obviously, speaking of, uh, you know, Izzy versus Bailey in a few years at WrestleMania, um, you have been trained to wrestle, haven't you? Is that still, is that still something you're doing? Yes. So, um, you know, with the whole pandemic going on, like, it's kind of hard. But I started to train when I was, I'm going to say, I was 10. I had my first match when I was 10 as well. And then I had to leave my wrestling school because of that reason. Um, and then I got into, like, MMA and BJJ, um, which was a huge, like, stone, like a stepping stone for this. Um, and then I went to the Monster Factory um, up in New Jersey for a week, um, and I got to train with them for a, a, a summer camp. That was really cool. And then I got into amateur wrestling, and currently the season on, is on pause, you know, with everything going on. But next year, they're actually supposed to sanction girls wrestling, which I'm super excited for. You know, it's going to be awesome. Um, but with, like, me being home, I'm constantly training. You know, I was actually going to train after this. Um, but I have my own gym in my garage, and, you know, like, it has everything. You know, I do strength training, you know, every day. Um, I try to fit in some yoga because I want to be flexible and stuff. So, and also I have scoliosis, so that really helps with it. So, you know, I like trying to make everything fit in all aspects. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, good, good for you. We, we've, we've both trained ourselves, haven't we, Callum? I, I think I lasted two training sessions and I had to, I had to tap out. I was too old. Uh, <laughs> but Callum, Callum himself, I mean, Callum is a very modest man, but Callum had a few matches and he had his own promotion right. for a few shows. I had, you know? I had about 80 matches over the space of four years. Very uh, nice. But, Good for you. Thank you. But this is, this is going back. I mean, I'm 31 now. This is going back about 14 years ago. Uh, <laughs> but but I, I left in the end because I couldn't hack it either. Uh, it's not for everybody. And mm -hmm. I loved doing it, but I knew it was something that I was never going to do good at, if that makes any sense. So yeah. I just focused on university instead. But there's so many people like yourself, I'm sure you're young enough where you seem driven enough that if you stick at this, it's something you're going to do well at. And I'm sure mm -hmm. you will do, especially if you're doing amateur wrestling and BJJ. Those are things which help so much with wrestling training, I imagine. Yes, definitely. You know, I said this recently, you know, if you really look at it, you know, I like I, I have my show, The Hot Tag, which is where I'm talking about wrestling each and every week and it's just another rep it's just a little bit of practice and that really helps me um so I'm if I'm really good at talking that is a big help you know with doing promos doing backstage interviews and even interviews like these and then once I get the wrestling down and the training and the physicality and all that fun stuff I will kind of be the full package when I'm like 18. Uh, do you enjoy doing promos is that something you enjoy I do I, I, I do I try to practice you'd be good at yeah, I, I do. I really like promos. You know, I try to practice them like as much as I can. You know, I kind of created like my own little storyline. Um, but you really like you just got to like be prepared for whatever. You know, there's some days where you're going to be super surprised and you're going to be like, oh, my God, I have to do this promo. I never thought I would have to do this. Yeah. Um, and then there's some days where I'm like, oh, I've done this before. I know what to do. So, you know, it's definitely like a little wild card of promos. But, you know, you got to practice them as much as you can. Was you ever good at promos, Callum? Just out of curiosity. I was actually. I enjoyed doing heel promos. Yeah. I, I, I couldn't do face promos to save my life. I could not do them, but I always got booked as a face. And then I couldn't do face promos. But I wasn't a very good heel, but I was good at doing heel promos. So I couldn't win. Another reason I quit. <laughs> but um, yeah, they are quite hard to do, aren't they? Um, especially... If you're in a training class and you're doing a promo in front of the other trainees, I always found that quite nerve wracking. Like I used to get really nervous doing them in front of the people that I was training with. Mm -hmm. Is that something that you feel as well? Like when you're doing promos, do you do you get quite nervous or? 
Did it come uh, naturally to you? No, not really. You know, I like I went to two seminars recently at my old pro wrestling school. You know, they, you know, they opened their doors and they were like, "Oh, you can come." Um, so like both, I want, yeah, both of them had promos. Like you had to do a promo at like the end, and like it was like pretty simple. You know, I was pretty comfortable with it. You know, some people they were like they kept on like messing up, but it it all happens. Like there's gonna be some days where you just, you mess up, but, you know, I wasn't too nervous, you know, I think it's the fact that, like, sometimes, like, you have, like, there's a big person, like, my, my seminar was with Serena Deep, and she's a former, like, coach at the PC, so, you know, that was, like, a little bit pressure of me, but there's gonna be so much pressure in this business, so, like, I kind of had to get accustomed to that, and just, I have to get really comfortable with being uncomfortable. How was it working with Serena as well? Was she, was she a big help? Oh, uh, she was awesome. You know, I I had such a great time training with her. You know, she was so helpful. She was so hands on. She wants to make sure that you understood what she was teaching, and she really gave us like all the pointers that they like that they look for in the PC. So I always keep that on in, like the back of my head. Um, but she was just like overall, she was really cool. You know, I loved training with her. It was such an awesome night for me. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of Serena as well, and I think as well at the minute she's just doing amazing things at the moment again. Yeah, um, I believe she's uh, fighting Sienna, isn't she? Alison K, uh, full she gear. Um, yeah. Uh, two of my favourite uh, female wrestlers at the moment in the world are those two. So that's a match I am so excited for. Um, oh, be really good. You mentioned obviously hot tag. Tell us how that came about. So I was, I, you know, I was really thinking of ways to like keep myself around because, you know, you always can't be like just posting pictures about, about yourself every day, you know, you got to kind of start coming up with new ideas. So I really started thinking, I was like, man, I love talking about wrestling. And I was calling into a radio show called Busted Open on Sirius XM. You know, I was getting kind of good at it and everything so you know like I said to myself I was like oh I can actually start my own show so you know I started to plan and I was like well first of all I love NXT and also I live like 15 minutes away from Full Sail so it's perfect you know if I film there that would be awesome um you know I started to practice a little bit you know my first videos were definitely a little bit rough but as I started to get more comfortable being in front of the camera more you know I just grew like more and more, you know, I started to really think about what I was going to say, you know, I did my research more, which is a huge thing when you want to talk about, like, are you, or if you want to do your own show, um, you know, you just can't go into a match blindly and like be like, okay, and this is what I'm going to say, you know, you really got to go deep, deep down and see if somebody, let's say I'm breaking down Johnny Gargano versus Damian Priest, you know, you got to see if Johnny Gargano did a promo and if you can steal a line from him and say, well, Johnny Gargano said that he's going to beat Damian Priest up. You know, you really got to find that. So I think, you know, with experience, I really got comfortable with the show and everything. And the show, like, it's been incredible, you know. I get to interact with my fans because I ask them questions and I want them to tweet me of what their thoughts are. You know, a lot of my hard work into that has led me into being on WWE The Bump. So, you know, it's really surreal that, like, my show, The Hot Tag, just, like, led into such amazing things. Callum, you've muted yourself. <laughs> you muted yourself. I, oh, no. anything. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> <laughs> it happened. <laughs> I think it's really what's good what's 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 you do doing with the hot tag because um, you, you're such a you're still very young as well. I mean, I think a lot of people forget, uh, but you're working so hard at such a young age, and mm -hmm. we're like twice your age, and we struggle to even do this. Um, oh, the fact that you're so young doing it is it says a lot. So you should be proud of yourself for everything you're doing to keep you know on social media to keep in touch with your fans and anything like that. That's really good. Uh, what's, yeah. the goal, what, what's the goal for the hot tag then? Do you just want to keep it going like it is now or it, do you have like a goal for it in the future? Um, well, I definitely want to be a pro wrestler because I get asked a lot like, oh, do you not want to be a pro wrestler anymore? And I really do. It's just, you know, if I can really start building a huge name for myself and like really build my audience and build my fan base, it, it's really important to me. 
But like my ultimate goal for the hot tag is to be to have it streaming on some sort of network, especially the WWE network. Or if some other show wants to sign me, I'm totally down with it. You know, this Saturday, I don't know when this is coming out, but this Saturday it's gonna be there's a huge opportunity for me. I'm super excited. So, you know, there's a lot of cool things in the works. So like I don't know, it's just like it's so exciting and mainly like Going back to your question, I really want the hot tag to be on some sort of network, you know, yeah. like the WWE network or, you know, doing the NXT previews just like Mackenzie okay. Mitchell. Like, that would be really cool. That might happen. They're, they're bringing yeah, up podcasts now and other creators on the WWE network. So there is the opportunity. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I wonder what, what's happening on Saturday. I mean, could, is there something happening on Saturday? So yeah. it is full. So I can't really announce it yet because <laughs> it hasn't been announced yet. But you know, it's gonna be really cool, and I'm super excited for it. You know, it's a huge opportunity. Um, so yeah, I can't really. Well, it kind of got announced on social media, um, but not officially. So that's all right. We we won't press you for it. Won't worry. But um, <laughs> we are we are subscribed to your your channel, and I was flicking through again today, just having a look. And I mean, you you've you've been around and spot some amazing people as well. I mean, I was watching today where he was with Stephanie and Triple H. I mean, what's it like being around those guys? Oh, it's really cool. You know, you kind of like look at them in the, and you're like, oh my God, this would be my future bosses one day. Yeah. Um, so, you know, it's just, it's really cool to be around them. So, and it's just, it's like an honor and everything. So, you know, it, that's like the really cool part. <laughs> Yeah, I remember so I was watching that bit today and I, I, I was so jealous because I'm a massive Triple H guy and I'm like, oh my God, she's, she's, she's talking to Triple H and I'm, I'm just like, this is incredible. I mean, I am a Triple H guy, but um, <laughs> one of the people I think you have spoken to um, was Alicia Atouk. Mm -hmm. Yes. Alicia was our first ever interview. Mm. Uh, um, I mean, what was it like you know, talking to Alicia? Because she was a big help to us. Yeah. Oh, Alicia, she she's really cool. I really like her. You know, her interviews are great. You know, I when I went in her interview, like there was a little bit of pressure because I'm like, oh my god, I've always wanted to be on her show. But she, you know, she made it so comfortable. You know, her interview was so smooth. So I definitely like, I love talking to her. Yeah, I mean, Carl to say she was a, a big big help to us. I mean, when we first started doing this ourselves, we we never did interviews. We did like weekly reviews, and it was like everyone's doing this. And then I think it was Callum sent me a message. Oh, well, we're interviewing Alicia with Toot this week. I'm like, what? I'm, like, I'm not an interviewer. What are you on no, about? We don't do interviews. We don't even do a weekly show. We just speak to people. But I much prefer doing this because it's oh, yeah. so much more enjoyable just talking to people and learning about what got them into wrestling, why they love wrestling. Mm -hmm. and Because we, we used to talk about wrestling weekly, but I'll be honest, it was boring. Uh, well, yeah. It, some people I love listening to talk about wrestling, but it wasn't us. We're, we're not that interesting. Uh, but we but we like talking to people who like wrestling. And I feel like, um, is that something you, you do as well? Like you, you speak to people and you speak about wrestling on a weekly basis. Which, which, which one do you prefer out of the two? Do you like interacting oh. with people or actually speaking about the wrestling? Um, you know, I equally love them, you know, so like I sometimes can catch interviews, you know, I've recently done with, done some with Jonathan Coachman, Alex Gracia, who is killing it right now. Yeah. Um, I did Red, Red Velvet, who just was on AEW against Nyla Rose. So, you know, I've been really trying to catch as many interviews and also going back to Full Sail, you know, I'm able to get interviews with like some of the wrestlers like they'll be walking into full set i'm like oh hey can i catch an interview so like i got one with pat mcafee one time you know i was super excited for that one um tomaso champa i've gotten him two times he's actually one of my favorites um my good friend josiah williams oh i love him he shout out to him he's probably one of my favorite people he's like my big brother um and then the weekly thing where I talk about NXT and AEW, um, I love that. You know, I get to really showcase what I know and my knowledge of wrestling. And, you know, I just, I love just kind of being fun on it. Not just, like, saying, like, oh, here's this. You know, I just love, like, 
throwing in some fun little lines, you know. I re- I did an AEW preview, and I was like, it was Trent versus Miro, and I was like, these two are no gaming buddies. I mean, would you really want to be <laughs> best friends with the guy who destroyed your video game? You know, I love that part of it. So, well, like, I really wouldn't want to say, like, oh, I love doing this more. I think they're both equally so much that's fun. Good. Yeah, place. that's good. I think you've got to enjoy them both the same, haven't you? It's, yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that's where we went wrong. We forgot to add the fun part to it. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, you know, it's sometimes hard, but you got to just be yourself and say, hey, this is something I love to do. And if it's not, then this isn't for me. But, you know, I love talking about wrestling. You know, I love doing it weekly, being able to film, you know, like I said, interacting with my fans. So that's what I really love to do. Yeah, we're the same. We, we love doing this now because when we started as well, there was four of us, weren't there, Callum? There was another two of our friends. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it was just too much, and then we 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 rebranded about three times, and then it's boiled down to where it's just me and Callum left, and we have the same vision, and we are the same. We're just we're reaching out, we're just talking to to people in the wrestling business, to wrestlers, to to anyone that's involved, and we are really really enjoying it. It's the best thing we've done. I absolutely love speaking to people about wrestling, and I. It, if it, we if we ever make any money from it, great. If not, I'd still do it. Even if we had one person watching, I'd still do it. It's just fun talking about wrestling. And, yeah, I mean, it, it's even great. Like, just hearing about your story in, like, we, obviously we've seen you go from being that Bailey fan to now you, you, you're you your own person, you know. You, you're not just that Bailey fan. You've got your own show. You've clearly got goals in wrestling. You're training. You're doing everything you can to keep you know, and to, you know, to be visible by as many people as possible. And I think that's awesome. Thank but, you. Thank you so uh, much. Yeah. Like I said, I wish we had half the work ethic you do, but. Uh, oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's, um, before we start wrapping up, Izzy, obviously. Yeah, go ahead. I'm sure you've got plenty of things on the horizon. I know there's a pandemic going on right now, but. I'm sure you've got plenty of things planned. Is there anything you want to plug, get out the way, like your social medias, events coming up, shows, yeah. like that? So I there's there's a lot of things in the works that I can't really announce right now, but my social medias are all the same. It's it's Izzy Mania. Make sure you put in the it's because everybody forgets it. Um, I'm on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. You know, I like I said, I have my weekly show called The Hot Tag. Mm-hmm. I preview NXT and AEW, and then exclusively on YouTube, I get some amazing interview with some of the best people. I got one with Tommaso Ciampa, Jonathan Coachman. I know there's one with Alex Gracia, so whatever go check it out. Um, I'm also found on Pro Wrestling Tees. If you just look up Izzy or Izzy Mania, you'll find some awesome tees right there for you. Well, yeah, I, I usually buy, every, every guest that we have on, I usually go and buy some of their merch. So. Oh, yeah. Why he never has any money because we <laughs> always interview people and he always says, I'll go and buy the t-shirts and then he does and then he never has any money left at the end of the month. Oh, no. So when he says he'll buy something, he will do. <laughs> he will do it. He yeah. his, his promises. I like that. I like to, I like to support people. You know, I've, I've, got, I've got to go about eight draws in front of me that for the wrestling t-shirt. So I mean, it's a, uh, it's a bit crazy. But before we let you go as well, Izzy, we've got to ask. Well, you, you've met Steph. You've met Triple H. All these guys. Have you ever met Vince yet? I have not. I almost. I was this close. Um. But, you know, there was a lot of people, so I was like, okay, I'll just step back. So, no, sadly. But one day, I'm sure. When I'm, when I'm in the yeah. WWE and when I'm signing my contract, contract yeah. you know, when I signed it, he'll be sitting right there and he'll be like, that's some good stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, that man's an enigma, isn't he? I mean, getting, getting close to Vince, you, you're going to be very lucky. Um, yeah, it has been absolutely incredible. I, I can't thank you enough for your time. Oh, really? Um, yeah, thank you so much. Speaking to you, Izzy. Yeah, thank yeah. you. I had a great time. Thank you. Oh, no, no problem. And hopefully we can get you on again at some point in the future. We'll, we'll chat some more wrestling. Um, but Izzy, yeah, thank you so much. Uh, we are Ringsiders. She is Izzy. This is Izzy Mania. See you soon. Bye.